Um, I'm chairman of the three-year-old, almost three-year-old, Warren County Safety Valley Biking Organization. We're very pleased with our progress, and that's probably why we're here today, just to share some of these things with you. Let me first say thanks for giving us the time. And secondly, um, say we appreciate your support. If you recall, about two and a half years ago, the board um, unanimously voted to, to support us and uh, establish, uh, representing our group, the Citizens Advisory Committee, which has been fairly active. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, John will hand out our mission statement going around. Also, we'll talk about our accomplishments. I've already handed out maps that we're very proud of that we just uh, put together, actually just prior to the Centurion. It's been two and a half years of work, but we're very pleased with these maps, and it's only a start. Um, and then I want to discuss a little bit with you about the Citizens Advisory Committee and its uh, the roster and the importance. I'm not going to read things to you. The mission statement and goals are there. And I think in summary, we're all about safety and quality. We started out with a concern among several of us that are active bicyclists, um, saying, you know, we just got off the roads and we had some uh, not so pleasant experiences. So our goal right away was to educate the public, motorists and cyclists. And I want to stress that because Believe me, since a few people know that I have this position, I hear about the bicyclists that aren't following the rules of the road and creating dangerous situations like going through stop signs and not stopping for red lights and not signaling and so on. But as you know, the motor vehicle laws in New York State state that we are to share the road and we are to all follow the rules of the road. And the roads are open unless something like the guard place says, um, the state says no, no bicycles on no property. So there are rules that say we are to share the road, but the safety concerns are definitely there, and that's how we got started. And then we started talking about this beautiful county that we live in and what's available. When I go out on a beautiful day like yesterday was and ride and look at the views and look at the uh, places and options and things that we have. I'm mostly a road rider, but it's, we have tremendous potential. Secondly, the mountain bikers, we refer to as off-road trails because there are several kinds. My son-in-law is an avid, he's an expert mountain biker. He just sits and raves about Warren County. In fact, he's the one that said, Coach, they all call me Coach, the you know, former <laughs> Coach. He says, Coach, uh, we ought to do something about this. And he's the one that came up with our theme, Warren County, a destination for bicyclists. And it's very appropriate that just recently, we've had these articles in the paper. This one about the meeting in Lake George, out of Billings, uh, relative to the plan of Hay, Bolton, and Lake George to establish connector uh, trails. We are fully in support of this. We've written letters in support and uh, we've had people attend several of the meetings. I had wanted to go Monday night and ended up with a conflict. Then I was very pleased this morning, what a great prelude to my meeting today. This editorial really highlighting the importance of bicycling, connector trails, um, uh, alternative means of transportation, and healthy lifestyles. So couldn't have been better timing. Then the, um, the trails planned for the west side of Lake George that we just referred to, John uh, gets the C forwards to our committee. And so I have just printed out this morning a copy of their maps and their plans. This is excellent work. And, and again, we're fully in support of this. So some great things are happening. Let me get to the accomplishments report. And again, I'm not going to read everything, but I would like to highlight a few things. Number one, the organizational structure. Um, we became recognized by this Board of Supervisors about two and a half, three years ago. And uh, we, in uh, establishing the Citizens Advisory Committee, we were um, 
given the right to work with departments of Parks and Recreation, DPW, Tourism, and Planning, those four county departments. That's been very successful. I want to thank Paul Butler, um, uh, Jeff Tennyson, a couple of people in the Tourism Office, especially Joanne Conley and Tanya Brand, and uh, Sherry Norton, who I'm sorry here is leaving our county, for the work she did in planning and helping us with the, the big map that you had. Sherry was just fantastic for that. So this has been a very positive thing, and we appreciate that. We uh, were recognized by the state of New York as a corporation, and the IRS has recognized us and given us approval to be a not-for-profit organization. We have a website that is currently being upgraded and improved, but we're pretty happy with it as it is. Um, Gary Crossman did this as a volunteer, and it's really quite good, thinking we didn't pay a penny if you have it done. Okay. We now do, we have some funds and we're hiring a person to upgrade it, make it a professional, more professional looking, and make it so it reaches out better to using Facebook. To, our goal is to decrease the printed material and increase the drive by driving people to our website. They can go to our website and get all this information. The maps will soon be on that website. Most of them are not up yet. But we will continue to make brochures that have maps and information, and everything will be noted, please go to our website, bikewarnco.org, okay? That's down the road, that's a challenge. Kurt Austin is the chairman of the, that uh, committee, <coughs> the website committee. So the projects. Well, you saw the master plan, and you approved that when Kate came from the uh, Adirondack Glenis Falls Transportation Council. This is pretty inclusive. Short term and long term, we're very proud of it, and thanks to Kate, because we probably probably still working on it. Um, but that, that's a, a really good plan, and we are told that as we apply for grants, this will be very helpful. It shows that we we have our plans, we've done our work, we've done our homework, and we'll go forward. So thanks for approving that back in the spring, April 20. In the towns of Queensbury and uh, Lake Luzerne, their um, uh, town governments have passed resolutions for designated roads. Now, you're all familiar with that fold-out map that Aaron Frankenthal does with the Glens Falls at uh, Adirondack Transportation Council. There's a new one just being published, which will show and highlight roads that those two towns, Lake Luzerne and Queensbury, have designated and will keep up as better, safer connected roads to get from one place to another in those towns, for instance, through the bike lane and so on. These are models for every one of your municipalities, and we hope that everyone will do something like this in the near future. We would like to meet with your uh, town board, your, uh, your highway departments, <coughs> and discuss some of these things. We're right now working actively with the Glens Falls City with their plans for transportation and bicycling, parking, etc., uh, to give them our input, and we're very pleased with the progress they're making. On the second page, about the fourth bullet down, uh, we have initial plans for some connector trails, and I'm going to ask John Stroud to discuss that a minute. Well, we've been working on connector trails locally and regionally, specifically locally. There's uh, three trail efforts we've been focusing on, one called the Rush Pond Way, and that will connect the school system with various neighborhoods and with the commercial districts and churches, and it will be a safe alternative transportation for young people and families and so forth. It'll keep them off of the, the more dangerous uh, West Mountain. Road, for example, not that we 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 want to encourage use of the roads, but sometimes for families and younger folks, we want to encourage off-road use. And trails need to connect things. They need to connect neighborhoods. They need to connect churches and commercial districts and where people are going to go. And that's just what Rush Pond Way will do. 
In addition to that, we'd like to have a link from Rush Pond Way, which will come out on its northern terminus up here on Gurney Lane, uh, with the Warren County bike trail. And we're also in negotiations with National Grid and developing a bike trail that will go from the Hudson all the way up to Queensbury School. And again, we'll connect with the Rush Pond Way. The more that you can interconnect and make comprehensive your bikeways, the more they're going to be used, the more useful they will be. But in addition to that, uh, they're good for tourism. Because people like to come to the area, they like to use bike trails, and I'm sure that you've noticed a lot more people with bikes on the back of their cars and so forth. Um, they like to come to an area and have that recreational opportunity. Well, we're going to provide them that, and the more comprehensive it is, the better it is. And the signage, too, is something we've been working on. If your signage along your bikeway directs the bike users to convenience stores, your local restaurants, and so forth, that's a win-win for everybody as well. We plan on doing that. But as an organization, we've been working with uh, local groups like George Loop, and Ron has hosted those meetings up there in Bolton. And, um, and we've been working with New York Park and Trails, and we've been working with national organizations as well. So um, that's probably a little bit more than you wanted me to say, but... You've covered a couple more points already. <laughs> in any event, I think that you'll find us a worthwhile and useful organization. We're trying to do a lot of good things for the local regional area. Thanks, sir.